Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the beautiful Surditch Ice Arena here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. My name is Alana Jones, and I'm a children's librarian for the Pikes Peak Library District. And today, I have a wonderful story to share with you called Pearl's New Skates, and it's by Holly Keller. Look here at the front picture. Do you see how she has a skate that has a blade in the front that curves up? Well, you can make the American Sign Language sign for that by curving up your finger and moving it along like ice. And if you put two of them together, it looks like you have ice skates. All right, we're ready for our story about Pearl's new skates. On her birthday, Pearl got a pair of ice skates. They were white leather with shiny blades and red tassels, and Pearl loved them. Oh, they're real ones, Pearl told her grandmother on the phone, not double runners. And Grandma made Pearl a red ice skating skirt. Pearl imagined herself going backward and forward like a ballerina on the ice. Can you make your fingers into a little ballerina on the ice and skate backward and forward? She practiced twirling on her toes, twirl around, and jump in the air and she waited and waited for the weather to be cold enough to freeze the ice skating pond. Finally one day it was. Look there's the sign that says skating today. Mama helped Pearl put on her skates. Thistle skated over to say hello. Come and skate with me she said. But Thistle only had double runner skates. She didn't have single runner skates like Pearl, and Pearl did not want to skate with her. Oh my. Pearl's Uncle Jack was skating on the pond. I see you have new skates, Pearl, he said. Would you like me to give you a hand? No, thank you, said Pearl. I don't need any help. Pearl stepped out onto the ice. It was hard to keep her ankles straight and keep them from wobbling. Here I go, she said. But instead of going forward, Pearl lost her balance. She swayed back and forth and back and forth. Her arms went spinning around like pinwheels. Her bottom went thump on the ice. Every time she tried to stand up, her feet slid out from under her. Oh my, look at Pearl, she's trying to stand and she's falling and oh, it's terrible. Pearl took off her skates. I'm ready to go home, she said. You don't have to be a ballerina the very first day on your skates, her mother said. But Pearl was not listening. The next day, Pearl did not want to go to the pond at all. She sat in front of her window and she watched Thistle and her other friends going off to, with their ice skates to the pond. She tried to read her new library book, but she didn't like it. And she didn't feel like drawing today either. At the end of the afternoon, Uncle Jack stopped by to say hello. You didn't come to the pond today, Pearl, he said. Don't you like ice skating? Not much, said Pearl. Well, I like to skate early in the morning, said Uncle Jack, before anyone else is there. You might like it then, too. Pearl said she didn't think she would. But in the morning, Uncle Jack stopped by just to make sure whether or not she wanted to come or not. And Pearl decided to go with him. I might not stay very long, she said. Mama gave her a thermos of hot chocolate that she could share with Uncle Jack. Mmm, doesn't that sound good? It was a crisp morning. The air was cold, but the sun was shining, and there was a little bit of mist rising from the ice. Nobody else was there. Uncle Jack laced up Pearl's skates. He took her hands, and he pulled her out to the center of the ice. He moved away, and Pearl tried to skate toward him. When Pearl slipped, Uncle Jack was there to catch her. She tried to move. Oh, but she fell again. 
I'm getting cold, Pearl said, and hungry and thirsty and tired too, she said. But Uncle Jack skated up to pick her up again. Just one more time, he said. I can't do it, Pearl grumbled. Uncle Jack skated behind Pearl. Look straight ahead, he said, and then he gave her just the slightest push and he let her go. Suddenly, Pearl was going forward all by herself. Whoosh! She went across the ice. Oh, Pearl called as she felt the wind rush right past her ears. I can, I can skate. Pearl and Uncle Jack sat on the bench a little bit later and they drank the hot chocolate. You're going to be a good skater someday, Uncle Jack said. When Pearl got home, she was so excited. She put on her red dancing skirt again. She twirled on her toes and jumped into the air. And then she called Thistle. And do you know what? The very next day, she and Thistle and all of her friends went skating the whole afternoon together. And that is the story of Pearl's New Skates by Holly Keller. For this story and other stories about skates, come to the library where all of our children's specialists will be happy to help you find a good book.